Hey guys, what's up? So I'm gonna be doing another video. This time it's gonna be for RetroArch. This is the thing I used to like play some games and then you know test it out. But I'll show you guys how to download the cores that are not available on RetroArch. This is the one for Steam. So we're gonna open up Steam. If you got Steam app and open that we'll wait for it takes a bit of time but it'll should load soon there we go if you have it as a steam account then we'll go to ooh, a new thing Yu-Gi-Oh go ahead and close that we're gonna go to store or if you don't have it go to store Go to type in here and just hit blank, type in RetroArch. And then you go to RetroArch right here. It should have a... And then you want to install it. Download it, install it. Once you're done, you're going to scroll down and you're going to see these down here. These are all the cores available. But I don't think everything's going to be here. So what you're going to do is... Uh, let's see... You're gonna go to library, home, and then you're gonna scroll down to RetroArch. RetroArch right here. Then you're gonna, let's see, right click, properties, and then you're gonna go to local files. And then you're gonna click here and browse. That's where your files are installed. So this is the folder where your retroarch is. After you click browse, it should take you. Go ahead and close that. So you're now in the retroarch. This is where you're gonna drag all the files that you want. And then after you do the, after you do that, you're gonna open up a browser like Opera GX or whatever you want to use. Google, Brave, Firefox, whatever. And then what you want to do is uh, open up a new window. Here you're going to type in, as a matter of fact, I'll put it in the description, the, the site you want to download. But this is what you want to type right here. Buildbot.libertro.com forward slash stable forward slash 1.9.2. 9 windows and then x8664 and then you're gonna click enter once you type that it should take you to this website and then once you've done that let's see you know what we'll go back let's say you you, you end up in this liber to build a bot right what you want to do is go to stable and go to one point is it the latest one? Well, there's a newer version. Hmm, 1.9.9. You know, we'll, we'll go to the stable. Then what you want to do is go to the latest one. 1.11.1. 1. October 4. Yeah, you go to this one. Like I said, I'll put this in the description. If you guys don't know how to find it, I'll just link it. Click 1.11.1, that's the latest version, which is the dates right here, October 4, 2022. Just look at the date and look for the latest, it's the latest version, then just pick whichever you want, you have. If you got Linux or whatever, I got Windows, so I'm going to pick Windows. Click Windows then you're gonna pick which one since I got a x64 or I mean 64 bit that's what I'm gonna choose I think most systems nowadays have 64 bit if you got a Windows 10 you should have a 64 bit unless you got an older PC I don't know what you might want to pick this one but if you got a modern PC pretty much the newest one pick this and then what you want to do is you're gonna go to course RetroArch under course and then dot Z7Z. Click that. 
should start downloading this see I already got it that's why it's like that let's go to download real quick I'm gonna go ahead and it's finished downloading I'm gonna go ahead and delete this it's gonna fix it okay there we go so once you've done downloading don't worry about what what I just did so once you downloaded it here you click on this and then it should take you to the file that you downloaded which is this one what you want to do is uh, you want to drag that file into your just a second let's go back here I'm gonna open up okay there you go if you forgot where your retroarch file is you just do what I did okay not over here we're gonna let me see something real quick okay PC we'll drag this in here then we'll make a new folder right click new folder retroarch course and then we're gonna drag the retroarch course in there that way it has its own location then I'm gonna right click extract here and it should extract all the files okay and then I'm gonna double click in here and now you see the course so we're gonna look inside so all these files here you're gonna drag all this into the course right here make sure you don't I'll show you guys what I'm going to do once you've done that. So what you want to do is highlight everything. Okay, we're going to highlight everything. Basically, I'm going to pick the first one. Then scroll down. And then hold shift your keyboard and click the last one it should highlight everything okay now that everything is, is you know highlighted you're gonna drag all that here in the course on the where your retro arc is installed and once you see this thing right here that says the destination has 17 files with the same names what you want to do is keep skip these files because you don't want to overwrite because these files basically update themselves they automatically update so you don't want to mess with that if you accidentally click replace you, you want you might want to uninstall your retro arc or you you might have to do this but for now you click skip these files and that should be it you're done and now we're gonna test it close this now start retro arc or if you got it in your go ahead and minimize that if you got it installed here like where's the icon for that I'm trying to find it here right here retro arc if you got a shortcut just double click that there you go now you start it so now we're gonna look for the course so you wanna go here load core I should have a bunch of cores here that you you can choose from so yeah there's so there you go you got all the there you go it should have less than or it should have more cores than you usually have <coughs> alright that's how you add the course that were that were not part of the retro arc on Steam, because not every course were there. If you're looking for a certain core, but all right, go ahead and hit escape. I, I press escape to close that. All right, later. Okay, let's see something real quick. Okay, we're good.